Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and welcome to Saturn, our beautiful neighbor somewhat far away from our planet Earth. Today we're going to be talking about a mission to this beautiful planet and specifically a mission to one of its moons known as Titan. This mission was one of the most impressive achievements of the human history and today I'm going to show you the photos from this mission and even a video that was shot by the probe. Welcome to What The Math. And this mission, known as Cassini Huygens mission, started back in 1997 on October 15th when um, an actual orbiter and a lander on top of the Titan IV rocket basically left our beautiful planet Earth and began its really long seven years journey to Saturn. Now it doesn't really take that long to get to Saturn, but because the fuel requirements are very high, this particular um, orbiter and lander will actually use several planetary boosts known as slingshot maneuvers to try to get more velocity uh, by passing around several planets, including actually our planet Earth. And so using these so-called flyby maneuvers, it basically used Venus Earth and also Jupiter to boost its own velocity. So right now we're going to be passing by Venus and boost our velocity just a little bit to get a little bit more momentum so we can actually reach the outer solar system. So this was a maneuver uh, that required a lot of mathematical calculations and a lot of precision and uh, is actually quite common. Many different uh, probes, many different satellites use these types of maneuvers to try to get more velocity. And so using Jupiter, Earth, and Venus, it was able to achieve enough velocity to reach Saturn. But because scientists don't like to waste time, when it was passing all of these planets, including Jupiter, it was still actually doing science. As a matter of fact, some of the first really, really clear photos of Jupiter were taken during this mission on the way to Saturn. So this is actually uh, when we were able to take some incredible photos of the biggest planet in our solar system, Jupiter, that we're passing by right now. And so now we're going to be on the way to Saturn, the most beautiful ringed planet in our solar system. And then around July 1st of 2004, this is when uh, the probe approached Saturn and started to decelerate by about 600 meters per second. It initiated its boosters and prepared to enter orbit around this beautiful planet, where it actually is still today, and this is as of um, early 2017. Now, unfortunately, by the end of 2017, this probe will very likely crash into Saturn, which we'll try to demonstrate at the end of this video. But um, today, it still orbits and still is doing science, passing through the rings of Saturn. But obviously, the mission was far from over. In 2004, um, specifically end of 2004, it began its most important part. It basically began the approach to Titan, uh, where it's going to land, and um, this is essentially what you're watching uh, here, where it's going to separate uh, into two different um, spacecraft, Cassini and Huygens, and Cassini would actually remain in orbit around Saturn, whereas Huygens would um, attempt a landing, uh, one of the first, or actually the first uh, out, uh, outer solar system landing and one of the first planetary landings in general, um, using both parachutes and um, very, very complex landing system. Now what you're watching right now is the actual zooming uh, using the actual photos taken um, on top of the probe and this was actually quite an impressive achievement um, where basically we get to see the approach to Titan um, as it happened in real time and this was uh, essentially documented using quite a lot of photos taken by the probe. And um, as, as we approach the planet we've learned quite a lot of things about uh, both Saturn and of course its moon Titan. Uh, because uh, the camera used uh, on this particular craft was one of the most advanced at that time. And of course, on top of all of this, we've discovered new things as well, including seven new moons of Saturn that we didn't really know about before, because the new camera was able to capture them and to essentially take photos of these seven new, relatively small moons that uh, now have even been named. Now we're going to try to simulate this landing in Space Engine as well and you get to see the actual photos in top left corner here as it actually happened in real life. So here in, the, in this particular simulation in this video game we're going to try to slowly approach Titan also use our beautiful camera effects here to try to zoom out as we actually move closer to it slow down and try to land as well. 
Now, the interesting thing about this lane is that, um, it, well, first of all, it's actually very, very complex. And I'm going to show you some of the complex procedures that it took to land here in a few seconds. And as we were landing here, uh, this particular probe actually also had a microphone. And uh, we got to record the actual sound of the wind on Titan, which you can actually hear right now. Now, this represents something really incredible. This is actually the farthest sound we've ever recorded outside of our planet Earth, which by itself is a tremendous achievement. And so now we're going to be entering the atmosphere of Titan, and you're going to see what it actually looks like in Space Engine, but also uh, you'll get to see it in, in real life as well in top left corner. And essentially here, as the probe passed through, uh, through the clouds, it actually saw the surface for the first time and taught us something really interesting about Titan. Well, first of all, it's the, what we already kind of suspected, that this particular moon has lakes, it might even has, have seas and oceans of um, things like li liquid methane and other um, hydrocarbons that are basically normally in gas form on our planet Earth. On top of all of this, uh, this particular object seems to also have uh, dried out lakes and uh, dried out um, riverbeds of uh, these um, carbohydrates. And basically, this suggests that uh, this particular moon has a very, 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 very dynamic, very interesting sort of environment where um, different liquids and uh, different sort of materials uh, exist on the surface of this moon th that are very, very different from what it would be like on our own planet Earth. So here we are, we're coming to a complete landing in this very foggy, very mysterious and very misty environment. And boom, we have landed. Not as impressive as it is or as it was in real life. This is really what the surface looks like in Space Engine. But if you look, look up into the skies, you'll see absolutely nothing. And when the probe landed on the surface and when it actually looked around, it was able to take about 350 photos of its surroundings and send them back to Cassini, which later sent it back to Earth. But unfortunately, at least 350 photos were also lost. And this was actually due to a software bug on top of Huygens' probe, which was never really resolved um, and unfortunately caused some problems. But the actual landing and the actual fact that we were able to transmit videos, sound, and of course photos from a moon really, really far away was a major achievement for the humankind. This was actually one of the most complex missions, was definitely very impressive, and this was the first um, outer solar system landing ever. It included or involved a lot of really complex um, machines, a lot of complex calculations, and... Um, used uh, the probe that was basically designed to uh, withstand both hard landings and landings um, in liquids because we weren't really sure if it's going to land um, on the surface on a hard surface or in some sort of a liquid lake which i don't really think exists in space engine but we can look around and see if we can actually find any and looks like there's really nothing here it's absolutely empty and anyway so let's actually maybe escape uh, from the surface of a space engine version of titan and uh, as i'm doing this i wanted to actually play um this particular video that demonstrates how complex this landing was and what kind of really interesting um mechanical devices and what kind of interesting electronic devices were used as it basically calculated its approach and of course its landing onto titan and i'm going to actually escape from uh the surface and from the atmosphere of titan and into the Saturn system. And anyway, so this mission was absolutely incredible. It's going to end, officially end, in, um, at the end of 2017, when um, the Cassini probe, which is still orbiting and studying Saturn right now, is going to plunge into the planet. And as I'm doing this, let's watch this video that demonstrates the complexity of the landing of the Huygens probe. And so what you're actually looking at right now, or what you're hearing, are the signals sent by the Huygens probe as it was landing 
on Titan and the complexity of this interaction is quite impressive. And anyway, so now we're going to be entering or passing through the rings of Saturn, studying them a little bit as we're passing through and then crashing onto the uh, surface or I guess into the atmosphere of Saturn. And this is what's going to happen around November, or possibly December of 2017, um, when the mission will officially be over, mostly because uh, this, this particular probe is running out of fuel. Now, the reason why we're crashing onto the surface of Saturn and not Titan is because there's still hope that maybe, just maybe, there is actually life of some sorts on the surface of uh, either um, Titan or any other moon that's present in um, in the system of Saturn. And because of this, we actually want to avoid contaminating uh, those systems. We want to avoid bringing the bacteria from Earth because we want to study them later on. But we also actually want to study the atmosphere of Saturn. And so now we're going to be entering this atmosphere, crashing inside, and the probe will be destroyed forever. And that's it. The end. Anyway, so that's all I wanted to show you in this video. I just wanted to kind of demonstrate what uh, this mission was all about, how we actually were able to achieve all of this, and what we ended up learning from this particular mission, but also show you the real footage and the real photographs from this particular mission to Saturn that was actually one of the biggest achievements of the human race to date. Now, in the next video, we're going to maybe discuss something else about either Titan or Saturn, but you're also going to learn something completely different if you come back here tomorrow and watch the next video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you still haven't. Share this video with people who enjoy learning through video games and consider supporting this channel on Patreon. I'll see you in the next video. Game you later. And as always, space out. Bye-bye.